Okay, so we've got some uh, better, closer looking pictures, so... Oh God, Aldoa, not again! No! So, yeah, Aldoa has pink done what he did uh, with the uh, power sex with the standard Dalek in that one and has just painted the centre bit and this is not correct this is not correct I mean I'll go into more details when I actually review it but literally he could have them both just be Daleks with pupils because there was a silver Dalek and also just a black Dalek leader supreme thing with the black eye it does confirm though yeah, I think that uh, it was a mass, like, cock-up with the shoulder section. Because look at this, the shoulder sections is grey throughout this. And these would have been planned out and made around about the same time as the previous wave we've just had. Because the productions are basically back-to-back, -back, so yeah. We can also see promotional images of all of the sets here. So, not really much else uh, to see in that. But uh, it, what's interesting is the first Doctor's TARDIS has a new roof. Yeah, it has a brand new roof, which is nice. The lamp, I think, is exactly the same uh, as the previous Trout one. But yeah, it does have a new roof to it. So, that is, you know, an improvement on its original one. So, yeah, I will say this one is better than its original release and that and also the colour as well and here's again just a image of the two Daleks from Planet which yeah are exactly the same like literally if I zoom in they look exactly the same in fact it looks like they've given them silver guns which is wrong it looks like they've given them silver guns which they really shouldn't be. Yeah. The planet set is so disappointing. And also they shouldn't be this this type of metallic grey. I'll have to see them in person, but they shouldn't be the gunmetal grey. They should just be like regular grey Daleks. They d there weren't any gunmetal grey ones. The gunmetal grey had been repainted. In fact, it was repainted previously in Frontier in Space, so... Yeah, this is annoying. It's a, I'll say this though, it's a good army builder. It is a good army builder uh, set. But uh, yeah, this is just, you know, a bit annoying. But it does mean with this one that, uh, you know, I won't have to do it. Basically, the one with the people, nothing wrong with that one. But the Empress Guard, yeah. I will say though, it is better than previous releases, but still.